Hello everyone and welcome to Meg's How-To Videos where today we are going to be reviewing the MUCAR CDE 900 scan tool. Now before we dive in too deep into this review, I want to let you guys know that this is not a paid sponsored video. The company sent me this scan tool free of charge to do a true honest review and that is what I'm going to do. So with that said, let's start with the unboxing. Here you can see there really isn't much to unbox. Packaging is definitely well put together. You can see here that I struggled trying to open this thing and it took me a little bit uh, of work to get her out. But uh, here you can see it comes with a USB to USB-C charging cable, a user's manual, which if you want to uh, read it, feel free to pause the screen. And then of course, here we have the scan tool itself. When turning the scan tool on, it takes about 30 seconds for it to boot up. If this is your first time turning it on, there will be a few messages that pop up on the screen just to simply walk you through on how to set the scan tool up. And for those who are probably like, hey, you forgot to remove that sticker on the screen. Well, here you can see I'm pulling it off. It literally was attached to nothing. It was completely pointless. To update the scan tool, you need to link it to the internet. To do so, you need to pull down the drop down menu from the top. Here you can see I struggled trying to get it to work. However, it's good to note that this is the only menu that I have had issues trying to navigate on this device. Once connected to the internet, to update or upgrade your scan tool, just click on settings, go to upgrades, and then click start. This will initiate downloading and installing updates for all makes and models that are supported by this scan tool. Here on the main menu, you can see there's an option listed as other diagnostics. If you were to select that, it would send you to a screen in which you can purchase an upgrade package that can be downloaded to this scan tool. This would give you diagnostic capabilities for the ECM, SRS, TCM, and ABS. Here you can see I already purchased the package. Back at the home screen, you can see that it's changed a little. We now have an onboard monitor feature and and other OBD diagnostic feature. You can also see towards sort of the upper right corner there is a red circle and that is the AI assistance feature which is uh, I guess somewhat helpful but you can drag that circle anywhere you want around the screen it just happens to be right there at the moment. To begin our tests we're going to be trying out the code freeze frame feature as well as the erase feature that is used to clear system codes. Here you can see it did not take that long for the scan tool to detect and display the system codes that were on this vehicle. Erase, do you want to clear fault codes? Yes. Have been cleared. Alright, now you should be able to turn off the vehicle and fire her back up. It cleared it. It looks like it cleared the light. Next, we're going to test the live data stream feature. While performing this test, I believe I had it hooked up to a 2016 Ford F-350. Now I like how they have it set up so that all the live data from all the different systems are being displayed in one area so I can just scroll through them all versus some of the other scan tools I've used in the past 
where I have to literally go into each system to pull up their live data. Sadly, when it came to testing out the O2 sensor test feature, no matter what vehicle I had it hooked up to, I kept on getting the not supported message. So I don't know what's up with that, but currently it seems like it doesn't work. Now let's take a look at the features you get if you purchase the upgrade package. Here we'll start with the onboard monitor. This feature will display different test values which can be pretty helpful information. Next, let's look at other OBD diagnostics. So we select that, you can see we got EVAP system test, version information, and DTC lookup. Now this one's sort of cool, if you were to select that, you could then type in the system code and then look it up. See, so this one's the O2 sensor circuit low voltage and you'd be able to read more about it to help you out. Now that we're all done testing, it is finally time for my favorite part of the review video and that is the actual review. So I will be rating this product on a one to five scale over four different categories. First category is going to be appearance. Okay, you can see that things pretty much all black, so it doesn't really have a vibrant color palette, but uh, it definitely is a good size, fits very comfortably in uh, one hand. I definitely like the little grooves and grips that they have. Uh, the body or the, the case or whatever you want to say for it is definitely uh, durable. It's like a real tough uh, rubberish plastic. Um, definitely, you, you know, you drop this thing and not have to worry about it breaking so i do like that uh, as well as the cable it's like about three feet long so it's not super uh, you know super long where it's like you know it gets in the way and it's, it's just a pain having to carry it um, and wrap it up so with that said uh for this category i would give it a four out of five for appearance the next category is features. Now this thing actually has quite a few features for it. Uh, the first thing of which is it's got a decent size uh, touch screen that has a really good backlight to it. Now you can see the thing illuminates really nice, uh, which you can go into settings and set the, uh, from default, which is one minute where the screen will turn off if it's inactive to you know, for five minutes, 10 minutes, I think, 15 and 30. I think those are the options, somewhere around there, but it goes up to 30 minutes. Uh, so that's a nice uh, feature to have. Uh, it also has built-in rechargeable batteries that uh, charge using a USB-C cable. So it's definitely nice that they're keeping up with the uh, modern charging capabilities. Uh, Charging wise, if you just left this thing on continuously without it being plugged in, you probably got about three to four hours worth of battery life, which is pretty good. Uh, again, if you, uh, if you plug this thing in, just like any scan tool, it'll charge it using the OBD2 connector. So I, that'll uh, you know keep it well charged. Charging wise, I was able to charge it from 1% to about 100% within an hour. So it definitely is fast when it comes to charging. And uh, it also has a screen recording feature. I actually haven't gotten the chance to test it out yet. Uh, it is in settings. Uh, somehow I overlooked it when I first was going through there. Uh, when I first started this whole thing and then when I was getting ready to shoot, I went back through settings and found it. And I was like, oh boy, it's actually a feature that this thing has. So um, that's a nice thing to know. And it also has upgradable memory. It has a micro SD card slot mounted in the bottom right next to the charging port. So uh, you're able to, you know, store all your recordings as well as upgrade whatever the memory is. Um, that's currently in here. I don't know what the internal memory is currently. If I do uh, find out, I'll throw it up on the screen, but as of right now, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, with that said, uh, 
it definitely has quite a few features internally. It's able to do, of course, the standard code reading, um, but of course, it's not just code reader. It's also, you know, it's a scan tool. So you're able to do the live data reading, which is nice, uh, as well as if you do the upgraded package, uh, it also has onboard monitoring. Uh, so when it comes to features, I would give it a three out of five. Uh, again, there are quite a few other scan tools I have tested out where they incorporate a lot of other features, but uh, again, those are usually way more pricey, so I can't really fault it too much, but uh, yeah. Next category is price. How expensive is this thing currently? Well, currently on Amazon, it's listed for just under $100. Uh, however, they also offer a $45 coupon that you can attach to it, dropping it down to roughly $65 before tax. Um, I'm not sure how long that coupon is going to last, but as so with that said, as of right now, I'm going to just say it's about $100. Uh, then when you include the upgradable uh, package which will upgrade the diagnosis systems for the ECM, TCM, ABS, and SRS. Uh, you're looking at another $40 on top of that, which brings you to about $140. Uh, which I mean is not bad when you compare it to its competitors, however, it is still a little pricey, so I would probably give it a four out of five for overall price. The last category and most important category is performance. How well did this thing do its job? And well, currently it says that it is compatible with up to 96 makes and pretty much all of their models of vehicles. Uh, I of course wasn't able to test it on all 96, but for the ones I did test, which were pretty much Ford's Chevy's, GMC's, and Dodge vehicles, uh, it had no problem detecting it. Uh, it has the auto detect feature, which actually that was one of the things I forgot to mention earlier in the features. Uh, it real quick picks it up. I don't have to go and select you know, vehicles and stuff. It does a real good job with that. Oh no, there was one thing I had a problem with. Now I think about it, O2 sensor um the, the the scan option right on there for testing for some reason no matter what vehicle i hooked it up to i could not get it to work i kept getting a message saying not supported so i don't know if that's just something that's specific to certain vehicles but uh again i tried it on several different makes and models and i could not get that to work so the thing that i don't like is that it just doesn't work at least I wasn't able to get to work. So with that said, I'll give performance wise a four out of five, which would then give us a total score of three out of five, uh, which is not bad. That's not a bad uh, score whatsoever. Yeah, again, uh, definitely a nice little scan tool. I appreciate them sending it to me. The only uh, things that I would work on is try to see if you can fix that O2 sensor uh, test. For some reason, again, I couldn't get that to work or for it to support any of the vehicles that I was testing it on. So if you can look into that, I, I don't know. But uh, with that said, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below that and subscribe to my channel to see more how-to videos. If this video helped you out or you have an idea for another how-to video or have a product you'd like to have reviewed on my channel, please hit me up in the comments below or on one of my other social media accounts. But uh, with that said, God bless and good luck.